Hey Brooke, this is Andrew. I'm doing a video and we're going to start from scratch here. So I'm going to double click on Sonar. And I'm, I just started to the file and it's called Brook Video MIDI Stuff. So I'm going to click on that to open that project. And I did that and <clears throat> this area here is called the Track View. This area around the bottom is called the Mixer View. This area to the left is called the Inspector View. And this over here is called the browser here on the right. So let's insert an instrument. I don't have contact installed on this laptop. So let's just stick in, uh, let's stick in through pianos. Okay, okay. Anytime you put an instrument in, it's gonna put in the track folder, the first audio. Here's our, now you're not gonna hear anything because I don't have this connected to my card. And just by the way, if you wanna, on the interface, if you see where it says advanced interface, You've got some things you can change. It's got some reverb here built in, room size. You've got you know different kinds of bright, ambient, narrow, wide, studio, large, default. There's your module. You can just fiddle with stuff. And I, I think you should use this piano actually. It still sounds good. So I'm gonna close that. Now, what we're trying to do is get the mapping down, all right? So I kept trying to describe to you this thing and this thing, and I don't have a name for it. But here, this is called the track folder because it contains the audio track and the MIDI track. Okay, so right now I'm going to leave the audio track. Actually, I'll leave them both open because you're gonna you're gonna have a whole bunch of this on your screen. But if you click the two little the two little triangles, it opens that, and you open this one. Here's the MIDI track. Now this button, I don't know what to call this button. I keep calling it another gray bar that's next to these numbers right here. If you click on this button and you get the drop down for the MIDI track, these two right here are the ones you're going to use the most. The in out is going to be to select the keyboard that's playing the MIDI track. Okay, in out selects the, the keyboard that plays the MIDI track and effects is where you're going to put the MIDI event filter to do the mapping. So first I'm going to check in out. All right, I'm going to minimize this audio track because you don't really need to see that right now. So. When this is set to in out, here is what you're going to see as far as your, your, your keyboard. Mine says Audio Express MIDI Omni, but yours is going to read, you're going to have an option of the key lab here, and you're going to have an option of your M box is right here. Okay, so then that's, you're going to make sure that you select key lab in here, and then you're going to go up here and click that button and go effects. This is the MIDI effects bin. Then you go over here. I don't think you have words here. You just have the icon synth, plugins, and media. Now under your plugins, you need a MIDI plugin. And I don't know if they have these buttons. They may, that may be new. But you've got to find the MIDI effects here. So there's one. Just go ahead and click and drag. You need MIDI event filter like that. Okay. And you need transpose. You're going to click and drag that over here. Okay. So the event filter is, and you need, I think it needs to be in this order, right? Because you're going to have the map, which you got to click this little box, right? And this is your map as to where you're going to, you know, what part of the keyboard, the notes you're playing. So I'm going to say I'm going to play from A3 to E7, right? And that takes care of that one. I'm going to close that. And then the transpose is here where you go, you go transpose up and down an octave. An octave is 12 beats, you know, 12 things up or 12 things down. And that's pretty much it. So the thing is, if, so let's troubleshoot. And, and if you need to, if, and I would close them. And if you need to see it again, all you have to do is double click on it and it'll pop open. And oh, there's my map for that one. And then I'm going to click on the, double click on that. And oh, there's my transpose. I went down an octave on that one. Now let's say you're playing something and you don't get a sound. You have to go back up here to in out, click the in out, make sure you have the right keyboard selected and, and leave it under MIDI Omni for now. You know, that's your input. And then, uh, you know, check, go back and check your effects and make sure you have your map being done right. And make sure you have your transpose done right. And you have to, you may have to fiddle with that. Um, now, while we're here, I'm going to close the MIDI bin 
the MIDI channel, and this is the audio track. Now, I say I want some reverb. You want reverb on your contact. You're going to go over here, okay? The middle tab right here, okay, is your audio effects. So all these things, I would, I'm going to click on reverb, and these are all the different reverbs I have. I like to use the Sonitis reverb. I would say try all these. This Breverb, this is new. I haven't used it yet. It's a 64-bit reverb. But all you have to do is click and drag it into the effects bin. Okay, there's your reverb, and there's a bunch of presets. So if you click on this drop-down arrow right here, here's a bunch of presets to try. These are all really good. I use these on every project. Cathedral is a nice big one. You got outer space. These are huge. The venue is a really nice reverb that's kind of short, but it's a nice one. I use that a lot. I tend to use these and not these AUGS ones here. So let's say I'm going to put that on the venue, and you can fiddle with all your parameters. You just close that. And if you want to turn it off, you just see this button. That's your power button. You just click and now the reverb is turned off. You want to turn it back on, you click the button and it's turned back on. You want to delete it, you just say, I don't want that, I don't like that reverb. You can just right click it and delete it. Okay, here's reverb. What is that? See, I double clicked on it, but nothing happened. I have to click it and drag it into the actual effects bin and then it's going to open. So, this is new. I've never seen this before. You're seeing this with me for the first time. Hall, play, room. Anyway, you can play with all the reverbs. And that's, you know, there's spatial, there's effects chain. I'm sure there's delay in here. That's probably under pitch and time, melodyne. There's all kinds of crap. Anyway, that's enough for right now. And uh, we'll see you